Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Matt will return to the soap as footballer Tommy Orpington for the Christmas special. Tommy Orpington, a former Coronation Street player, is returning to the show and will play an important role in the Christmas Day storyline. The character, played by actor Matt Milburn, will return on Christmas Day when he runs into Tracy McDonald at the store. Ian McLeod, the producer of the ITV serial, had stated, You'll see him on Christmas Day. He has made several poor business decisions after leaving football, and his wife has left him. He's now forced to return to the trade he had as a non-league footballer, which is painter and decorator, but he's in a decent spot where we find him, and one of our female characters could need some decorating done. That's not a euphemism. Matt initially debuted on the ITV soap opera in 2016 when Tommy asked Michelle Connor to assist him in planning his wedding. He then became a mentor to the villainous Corey Brent after retiring from Weatherfield County FC. Viewers may also recognize him from his earlier appearances on the Channel 4 Soap Hollyoaks. He played Joe Spencer from 2003 to 2006. He's also appeared in minor roles on Emmerdale and Doctors. But what about his life outside of the soap? His family, including his famous brother and wife, is shown here. Greg Wood, Matt's brother, has also featured in Corey. Fans will remember him as the wicked gangster Rick Nealon, who was slain in 2019 by Gary Windus. Greg has also played a villain in Hollyoaks as gangster Trevor Royal. In 2016, his character had a horrible end when he was slain by adolescent Nico Blake. Matt is married although he rarely talks about his relationship with his twin wife Kelly. He did explain last year that she had been through a difficult time due to a family accident. Matt shared a photo of himself on Instagram. The happiest of birthdays today to my gorgeous wife and stay. XXX, it's been a tough year for her and her twin Stacy Franklin after being involved in a horrible accident in January. They have dealt with it in incredible ways, both physically and mentally. Spirit, resolve, and determination have inspired me and made me really proud. Now it's time to move on. On Monday night, ITV soap fans were irritated by the seasonal special's 30-minute duration. ITV's Coronation Street has been chastised for broadcasting the shortest Christmas Day episode in recent memory. On Monday night, ITV soap fans were irritated by the seasonal special's 30-minute duration. A viewer wrote on Twitter slash X, Corey and Emmerdale both had awful episodes that were too short. Each should have been an hour long. Well, I feel shortchanged with that. Danny remarked. I've never watched hashtag Corey, but from the clips I've seen, it's just old people saying camp lines and terrible acting for half an hour, Carl commented. The sets appear to be low cost as well. Orla went on to say, no wonder hashtag Corey and hashtag Emmerdale were only on for half an hour, they were blah compared to hashtag EastEnders who just won SMAS 2023. Christmas Day Corey barely half an hour, fuming. Let me watch this Christmas episode of Hashtag Cory, Town and Country said. I can't believe it's not an hour one. Amy went on to say, I'm actually shocked that Emmerdale and Cory are only half hour long each. Daisy went on to say, What a very bizarre episode. Half hour of my Christmas day wasted. Sack the writers. Along with being stuffed full of food, that episode of Cory almost put me to sleep, Chia added. I see why it's been half an hour now, one of the worst Christmas episodes I've ever seen. It seemed like the writers remembered it was Christmas and thought, oh crap, let's just quickly slap some storylines together and make it 30 minutes because I can't be bothered to do an hour, Ty added. Tracy was shocked to see she was cooking lunch for 10 people at the Barlow's. Meanwhile, Peter gave Carla a poignant gift but it appears that this is their final holiday season together. They decide to go their separate ways, each realizing that while they are still in love, they might be better off apart, resulting in Peter going on to pastures new. Alex was believed to have divorced his student fiancé in April, just six months after the couple became engaged. After 15 years on ITV, an ITV Coronation Street star has shockingly cuite as their bombshell leave date is revealed. Alex Bain, who has played Simon Barlow on ITV's Coronation Street for 15 years, is leaving the show. This summer, Alex will say his final goodbyes with an explosive plot. 
according to one source. Alex is sad to be leaving Coronation Street because it really is like a family, but he realizes that the time is right to move on. He's really optimistic about the future and other possibilities. Alex was believed to have divorced his student fiancée in April, just six months after the couple became engaged. The 21-year-old soap actor is alleged to have ended his three-year relationship with fiancée Molly Lockwood last month. Alex and Molly are claimed to be gutted that their romance didn't work out and their friends have gathered to support them. It comes after Alex, who has a four-year-old daughter Lydia Rose with ex-girlfriend Levi Selby, said last year that he couldn't spend his life with anyone else and that he couldn't spend his life with anyone else. Their mates have rallied around to support them and keep them busy, a source told the son of their divorce. Simon is preoccupied with the soap opera and immersing himself in the storylines and his role. Alex proposed to Molly in October after a romantic night on their two-year anniversary in Chester. The couple had eaten out before returning to their hotel room and watching the sunset from the balcony when Alex proposed. That's when I just asked her, he told OP magazine last year. If I don't do it now, I'll get more and more nervous, I reasoned. I was pretty sure she'd say yes, but I kept bricking it. I did have a tiny inkling on the night that it could happen, just because it was such a special day in such a romantic place. He remarked when asked why he thought it was the right moment to ask, and we'd spoken about getting married and spending our lives together before. The mother took a break from the cobblestones to give birth to her first child. Lucy Fallon has revealed that returning to Coronation Street after having her first child was the best decision she has ever made. The 28-year-old is married to footballer Ryan Ledson and has a son named Sonny. The actress received praise for her portrayal of Bethany Platt on The Cobblestones, but she departed the show in 2020 when her character relocated to London. She will, however, return to the show in the new year. It was the best decision I've ever made. Going back, she told ITV's Lorraine, it's simply the best place to work, and some of my closest friends work on that show, so I'm overjoyed. It was like the first day back at school, Lucy said of her anxiety. I've been away from the show for over four years, and when I returned I wondered, am I going to know my lines? Will people recognize me when I go into the building? Will people wonder, who's this girl? I was nervous at first, but after a few days it was as if I'd never left. In addition, Lucy said of her child, he's just gorgeous. I can't believe he's almost a year old. It's wonderful, myself, Ryan and Sunny have a fantastic setup. We make a great small team. It's been really nice, but it's a huge juggle, trying to figure out where he's going to be when I have work at 7 a.m. and Ryan's got to go to football, she said of balancing motherhood and her return to work. So it's a juggling act, but it's sort of lovely because I've regained a little bit of my old personality, which I believe is sometimes lost when you have a baby. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.